Now we get Izzy and Drosso joining us here. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Hello. Uh, I imagine that was quite tense towards the end. Yeah. Oh, that process was so intense. Holy <laughs> <this> shit. <laughs> we were watching some of like the Uber exchanges, and they were like so like uh, like careful, so passive. Uh, just like no one really quite wanted to fully commit, and it well, went to, I don't know how long it was. Like twelve minutes, I think. That they really round. decided to to put on the brake. So even when we we got a pick, it was really tough to push because well, we just get like. One player advantage, but they all stand so far back. We have to rubber sword. It was really hard to commit to the rubbers, but we finally made it. I guess it was yeah, so intense. You, you can kind of see it on the logs. Like everyone's damage is pretty low, really. Like everyone, like loads of people underneath two hundred, just because everyone's getting that kind of stalematey thing. Yeah, I think five different people played sniper in that golden cap. <laughs> uh, yeah, even when we got a sniper pick, it was just one. <laughs> it was pretty yeah. tough to push on that. One thing I want to talk about is I'm not I've not been following it too closely this season, but you have you guys have swapped up boards to pocket, haven't you? How yeah. recent was that? Uh, like, we like uh, that would be three days ago now, I guess. Three days. This no, is your first four, official. Four days ago. No, no, no. We played the uh, all official against Cool Clan to his board on pocket oh, okay. already. But yeah, I was definitely impressed with board. I think especially yeah. on process, he really like the main game he shot out. I think like 36 for 12, like really just solid pocketing all round. Yep. Uh, like was that like a team decision or did? Yeah, it was a team decision. We we talked about what we can do to improve the team, and uh, we came to the conclusion that our main weakness was that our medic died too often, and that we needed a a better combo, you know, better pocket soldier to protect uh, easy. And uh, you know, both being the ultimate beast, he is he's obviously a really great pocket. He knows how to protect the medic. And uh, on the other hand, Digan is. Pretty good with the roaming plays as well. So mm. we that, played that that's, that's good play. for us. When he played pocket, he played quite like yeah, loose. Yeah. You know, he played quite aggressive. He, um, he, he kept jumping in and stuff like that, and mm. we felt like we need we needed a, a pocket that was more close to his medic. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can see it in the golden cap. Like, is he didn't die like at all? <laughs> so Very impressive. Clearly working. Yeah. Yeah, we had. There were many uh, highlight moments, and uh, I'm not looking at the log there right now, but uh, I'm expecting maybe a couple. We saw you got four frags, I think, on the Badlands, the first map, uh, including. Yeah, a, mean... uh, what's that? What did you say? I'm I'm sorry, I didn't. For get Izzy. It. Yeah. Izzy yeah, like had the, the other side of things. Yeah, yeah, I got four yeah. kills on two medic drops. Oh, two medic. <laughs> yeah. Kills. yeah. So were you surprised? I guess going into process, like, are you guys worse at process? And Badlands, were you expecting a tougher time, or did what happened really? What was the difference? Because it was pretty comfortable for you guys on Badlands. Mm. Uh, I don't know. It was just the play style on process. We didn't expect them to play that that passive. Like yeah, the yeah. Russians, they're not playing like Russians usually do. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, GDK so, is GDK is still doing his own thing. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, but the rest of them, they play really collected and uh, together. That, that's impressive for Russians, I think. Yeah, I mean, we saw like I think. Towards the end of last season, when Forsaken was trying to do that with um, with GG well played a bit, you know, try and make him play a little bit more structured, a little bit slower. 425, I guess, taking it to a bit of an extreme with how solid they are. But we saw, like, you know, in Badlands, you guys went, I think, 3 1 up, and then 425 looked really, like, really poor trying to challenge yeah. that, trying to go forward. Really bad. And, and one thing that we were noticing and talking about a lot was actually the mids. I mean, it's like you guys were playing the mids perfectly every time, and they had no answer for it. Can you can you talk about a, your your philosophy, I guess, and how you guys played the mids for Badlands? Uh, well, the, I guess the mids were the only part of the map they were actually playing aggressive. So I guess our goal was just to deny the the, the jumpers like uh, Shadowburn and uh, the that other soldier who, who kept jumping our train. And then uh, once we've done that, just uh, go together as a unit on the point, and I think that worked every single time, pretty much. Yeah, it was perfect, and it was it was the strength, I mean, I think, of the Badlands map, certainly. Uh, and a little bit different, I mean, obviously, 425, they dominated the mids of process, which we sort of expected with Shadowburn, but uh, you guys were just able to sort of get the big picks and get the right picks when you were able to. Yeah, you didn't It's not really a, a question, I'm just process. <laughs> talking yeah. out loud. Yeah, I don't think you want a lot of mids, but like overall, your pushbacks, like you just were a lot more stable than 425. And when you were in like an aggressive position, it actually looked like you could cap a point. <laughs> like 425 never looked like they were going to finish the round. 
Yeah, like, yeah, how often were you guys expecting pushes out of them and just nothing came? Because we didn't see a lot of times where they were able to really make a big organized push. It just seemed like they sat back and we were wondering if you were going to be here all night. Like, well, were, you, were you getting bored of them? Yeah, a little bit. It felt like the only tactic on, on last pushes was to send Shadow Burn in and OP got the big picks, but we didn't manage to do it a single time because we just denied him every, every single time. Like, when you expect someone to do that kind of plays, not that hard to deny him, you know. And yeah, I don't, I don't think that any other strategies uh, so to use on last push. You got five points tonight, huh? which puts you up on eleven points, which puts you in, I think, fourth place currently. Hmm? Yeah, are you guys expecting? Like, do you think you can stay there? So we're sort of we're just getting up to about halfway through the season now. Uh, you gonna try and well, stay in that sort of final playoff spot? We still have at least. Three really difficult games uh, against Main Call, uh, Nuts and Rollerbladers, and uh, Planet Express. So we'd have to see how that goes. Like as I already said a couple of times, uh, our goal this season is not to to be in the playoffs, but just to improve as a team. And I think that's exactly what we're doing. So we, we're just like really happy with how we play right now. Uh, cool, that's good. Uh, on the other side of it, how can you see? Like, do you think four twenty five are going to stay in the same place? Like you'll they're like now, I think, four points behind you, if my math is correct. Uh, do you think they're going to stay up around there and sort of challenge you for that sort of mid-table finish? Or do you well, think they're, they're going to drop off? They're probably going to challenge us for, for that mid-table finish, but, I mean, they they need to improve on their team player a little bit, I feel like, because that death match is great, but he's like they're not always playing together when they should. Mm. Yeah, GDK quite often, we either do a lot of work and have no one there. Yeah, no follow-up like at all. Like Burn as well, there's a few like yeah. nice things on the flank, and then there's no one there with him. Do yeah. you know what the deal is with Kenzie? Because obviously Kenzie didn't play in that game, is Kenzie just out for the rest of the season? I have Any no idea? idea, but that's actually pretty funny because we were supposed to we were supposed to play that game uh, last week, and they mm. decided to walk out one hour before the match because Kenzie wasn't there, so... I guess that was uh, a wild card well spent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From what I can tell, Kenzie's availability is very, very, I don't know, hit and miss. Mm. But yeah, I think that's good. Congratulations on your win. Thank on you. your five points at the end, wasn't it? Yeah, five points. Yeah, five. Uh, yeah, congratulations again. Uh, any shout outs before we cut it? Uh, shout, shout out to uh, eShorters, eSports and their management, I guess. Oh, nice. Oh, I have one last question, too. Are you ready for Logjam? You got a bunch of Logjam coming up, one of the newer maps. Have you guys been hitting it very hard? Uh, we haven't played Logjam yet. <laughs> we haven't played it yet. There you we go. Play, so we're casting it, that one. We played it once, and it went terrible. So I don't know It's going to be an interesting week four for you, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's the money question. Well, uh, maybe we'll see you guys do that uh, against the Rollerbladers. Cool, yeah, so thank you to everyone who watched. Sorry about the sort of technical difficulties. It was a little bit last minute. Sim just kind of pulled together what we could. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching Team Fortress TV 2. I don't know if the Invitational is still going on or if that's finally, finally nope. ended. Done. Finally. Done? Who nice. Won? Forever. I don't know who won. It's not uh, the stream is down, though, so uh, oh. we'll have to figure it out. Maybe okay. some more chat knows. But yeah, uh, I'm sure we'll sure we'll bring you some more ETF2 action between now and Thursday, so stay tuned. Uh, and just keep an eye on the uh, newsfeed for some upcoming games. Thanks for watching, everyone. Good night. Have a good night. Good night.